My name is Kelly. I'm from the Center of Academic Achievement. We're talking about the Krebs cycle. The Krebs cycle is also known as the citric acid cycle. It's a nine-step pathway in which acetyl-CoA is broken down to produce more electron carriers in two ATP molecules. This process produces the most electron carriers up to this point. Acetyl-CoA plus oxaloacetate produces citrate, a six-carbon molecule. The oxidation of citrate produces two NADH molecules, two carbon dioxides, and one ATP. Two more oxidations take place, producing one NADH, one FADH2, and one oxaloacetate. This is recycled over and over again to bring the acetyl-CoA through this process. For each round of the Krebs cycle, one pyruvate or pyruvic acid, later forming acetyl-CoA, produces three NADHs, one FADH2, and one ATP molecule. Since glucose is a six carbon molecule, it produces two pyruvates or pyruvic acids, leading to six NADHs, two FADH2s, and two ATPs for each glucose molecule. After the Krebs cycle, all the electron carriers are transported to the electron transport chain to begin chemiosmosis in order to produce more ATP. Oxaloacetate is recycled for the next round of Krebs cycle.